All right, there is another name out there that I want to talk about. I know that we keep talking about the wide receivers. I know that's the only topic of conversation that's happening in Pittsburgh right now when it comes to adding guys and where do you add guys. But I think it's it's worthy to talk about. And as new names emerge, it's important to kind of highlight them and see if their their fits are in Pittsburgh. This one might be an easy one. Former Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver, second round pick Juju Smith-Schuster could be on his way out of New England. According to Patriots beat reporter, Oh, I'm losing the name here, and I apologize. Greg Bedard of the Boston Sports Journal. I apologize if I said that wrong. We all know that I'm not real great with names here. Quote, I don't really see a fit for Juju here. I think Mayo talked about the competition in the room and definitely sort of a Belichick acquisition. Veteran guy that you know, you've seen, he's played games, stuff like that. This is a different regime. Juju Smith-Schuster, to me, is not a fit here anymore, and I would be surprised if he's here all that much longer. You look at Juju Smith-Schuster, hasn't really done done much in New England. That being said, Super Bowl champion with the Chiefs last year. I mean, nobody did much of anything in New England. I apologize, Stephen. And now he could be a free agent. Do you look at Juju as a name that the Steelers should at least consider, make a phone call to, see if he's interested in coming back to Pittsburgh? Yeah, I, I think it's an interesting name. I think the only thing that would concern me is he had some injury trouble in yeah. New England, um, was pretty limited uh, in terms of how many games he played. And I think it was a knee issue that was fairly serious. Yeah, um, according so, to Albert Breer, it's, uh, it could explode at any moment, quote unquote. Yeah, I remember that report. That was that was the first time I'd ever heard that about someone's knee. Um, yeah. But yeah, I... I, just, I think you bring him in, you check out his medicals, you you make sure you're fine with that. But at the end of the day, this is not a super exciting signing to me. Yeah. Um, I think if he can get healthy, there's a chance that he could be pretty productive here in Pittsburgh and you're familiar with him, like you said. Um, but yeah, this guy, to me, this just reads as Michael Thomas with maybe some less upside. Yeah. You know, like it's just an injury prone veteran who had some really great years to start his career but with the injury history and his age getting up there like how much can you rely on a guy to return to that form um I don't really know uh, I, I and I don't think Juju I, to me it seems like a signing that you could make but the only justification behind it is really that he'd be cheap and you would know him you know and I I don't think that really serves the Steelers in any way at this point in the offseason with the personnel that they have right now and the challenges that they're facing at wide receiver, I don't see how Juju at this point is an upgrade over a a Quez Watkins, a Scotty Miller, anyone like that. It just doesn't seem like he has that kind of potential right now. Yeah, I, I think potential wise, Juju's kind of maxed out. I will say that his time in Kansas City, which is tough to compare. Like you look at Kansas City and you just say, like, I mean, come on, can I catch five hundred yards from Patrick Mahomes? Probably. You know, I could probably at least get on the scoreboard at least once. I don't know how, but I'd make it happen. Yeah, you know, in 933 yards and three touchdowns. And and again, that's like that's that's Kansas City. It's it's tough to judge Kansas City. I agree with you. I don't know that it's like a massive signing with a bunch of upside. I don't think it, it meets the Brandon Ayuk, even the Juwan Jennings or the John Mechies. I think it's, you know, a different tier from that one. I think he fits I think he's got more starting potential than Scotty Miller. Van Jefferson. I don't know about Quez Watkins. I'm I'm kind of high on Quez Watkins. I, I kind of hope Quez Watkins turns into something. Even more Quez Callaway, like I think has some potential yep. there. The other two, I think, like I think on any team, they're like the last guy in the depth chart. I don't know if Juju's that guy. Like I think Juju might be, you know, your fourth guy on the depth chart, which isn't great, but better, I guess, you know, if that's where you're at. So I agree with you. I don't think that it's I don't think that it's like a major upside signing. I don't think it fixes any issues. I think I, I think if you're not comfortable with who you have, if you're the Pittsburgh Steelers and you're looking at it going, I think this could go one of two ways. If you're the Pittsburgh Steelers looking at it going, we are not going to land a wide receiver in a trade. It's just not going to happen. You know, we at this point, like we've given up. It's just it's not it's not feasible for us. There aren't options out there then, okay, I get it. Go get Juju because, just like you said, he's comfortable. He knows what he's doing. He's been here. He's a leader. He's a veteran. He's a reliable set of hands, and that's what he is. Like He's a physical, reliable set of hands, and I think if you play him the right way, he could be a physical, reliable set of hands. I also think that the other side of that is you sign him if you just look at it and just say, we don't care if he gets cut in three months. 
you know, we we're not going to sign him with the expectation that he's here forever. We're going to sign him with the expectation of Scotty Miller and Van Jefferson and Quez Watkins and Marquez Callaway and, and Denzel Mims and all these guys and just say, if he works out cool, if he doesn't work out, who cares? You know, if, cause if that's the case, I think, you know, if I had to guess Juju makes the roster over some of these guys, I don't think he makes it over everybody. But again, I, after last year, after the injuries, after just a down year, after kind of falling off the map, you know, like, are you still the same guy? Can you bounce back from that? I think that's a massive question. So I agree with you. I, I don't think it's it, it moves the needle at all. Would I do it? I, probably, you know, but I'd probably sign. You could yeah. probably toss most names out there right now. And if I'm the Pittsburgh Steelers, I'd say, yeah, screw it. Give them a call because at this point, it's better than right. what you got. Yeah, uh, and that's just kind of where we're at. Like, you know, you're scraping the bottom of the barrel at this point. You're yeah. not finding superstars uh, in the free agent market, especially at this point. So I think you're... I think you're right. It's not. I, I wouldn't call it a bad signing if they did it. No. Uh, I wouldn't call it a bad addition. But you know, like we've talked about all off season, like they have a lot of wide receiver fours. You talked about Juju maybe being the fourth guy in the depth chart right now. Like I think there are maybe three or four guys that I could say that about yeah. uh, that are just jockeying for position at that. Like because you know, I don't know. It's just because the Steelers don't even look like they have a number two receiver yet. So. Maybe Juju can can be that. Maybe he can, uh, you know, he's proven that he can be that in the NFL. And as long as you're comfortable with the medicals holding together, I think he can get back there, especially in this offense. But I just, I think the medical stuff you got to confirm first before you really take take a shot at him or give him a look. Because if he's not on the field, obviously that's that's more concerning than him not playing well. Quite honestly, yeah. And and I think that they'd bring him in. Like you know, I don't think the the market for Juju would be massive. I don't think you'd have to compete yeah. against teams. I think you'd have plenty of time to get him in the building and check his knees, check his medicals, make sure that you feel comfortable with the move. And then you make the move. And, you know, I, I would view Juju as that kind of guy. I also would view Juju as if they released him tomorrow. I don't think the Steelers would make a phone call until next week, probably until they, they'd want f- probably all of OTAs to be gone through and then them to say like, okay, yeah, we definitely need a wide receiver. Or we don't need a wide receiver. But I think right now there, there's too many names out there. Not everybody's showing up every day. And you know, like you still haven't seen Cordero Patterson out there. You don't know where he's going to fit into this offense. Like I think they want to see all that before they add a guy. If this was somebody bigger, I got it. But right. Juju, I don't think he's going to press the needle. I don't think you're going to be in an urgent, urgent need to go sign this guy. So I agree with you. I think it's yeah. It would be, you know, don't get me wrong. Juju was a great dude, and he had so many fans. I still remember going to his, like, farewell thing in Pittsburgh, which I thought was super cool, and him and his mom were very much so like, hey, look, I want to make sure that this city knows how much it means to me, and I think that holds some weight in Pittsburgh. But when it comes down to the field stuff, maybe a little bit past where you need him to be to sign a wide receiver. 